we're going to start looking at the mechanism of the reaction between any alkane and chlorine. The overall equation for the reaction is your alkane. I'm representing the rest of the molecule with this symbol R, so it could be any alkane in the world. And I'm going to react it with chlorine. The overall equation for the reaction is if there's an excess of the alkane, then the chlorine will substitute just once. So this simplified overall equation represents the substitution of one of the hydrogen atoms by a chlorine, and therefore the other hydrogen atom has combined with a hydrogen to make hydrogen chloride. Now that is just simply the overall equation. We're now going to look at the mechanism. Remember the mechanism takes place in three stages, and the first stage is initiation. In initiation, before anything can happen, the chlorine molecule, which I'm going to represent, the covalent bond here as a single line, well, in the covalent bond, it absorbs radiation with a frequency of ultraviolet light, which causes the electrons within the bond to become excited, and therefore the bond will break homolytically, and each chlorine atom will get an equal share of the electrons that I've shown here with single-headed arrows. In the AQA syllabus, you are not expected to show the curly arrows, so I'm not going to use them anymore. So the chlorine molecule splits up to form two chlorine radicals, each with an unpaired electron. The second stage is propagation. And it's called propagation because one of those chlorine radicals will collide with the alkane. So if we look at the structure of the alkane, the best method is to draw all of the bonds because then it can be seen that if the chlorine radical attacks anywhere the most likely scenario is that the chlorine radical will collide with a hydrogen atom remember the rest of the molecule is simply a hydrocarbon and since they're on the outside the likelihood it's going to collide with a hydrogen when it does so it pairs up its unpaired electron and therefore if it pairs up with this hydrogen here the alkane will be then left with an unpaired electron itself and will form this alkyl radical and a molecule of hydrogen chloride. Now this has to pair up its unpaired electron. There's lots of chlorine around and therefore the alkyl radical is likely to collide with another molecule of the chlorine. When it does this, the only thing the free radical can pair up with is another chlorine atom, so it will collide with a chlorine atom, and you'll end up with a chloroalkane. And the chlorine radical will be regenerated. Now it's called propagation because this chlorine radical can then go on to attack yet another alkane molecule, and this cycle is perpetuated, so lots of free radicals are propagated lots of alkyl free radicals and lots of chlorine free radicals. Eventually when there's enough free radicals built up the reaction will be forced to stop because we now reach what's called the termination step. And in termination that's where the free radicals collide with each other at random. So let's look at three possible scenarios. We could have a chlorine radical colliding with a chlorine radical which case we're just going to end up with a chlorine molecule. We could have a chlorine radical colliding with an alkyl radical, in which case we're going to form a chloroalkane. And the final scenario is we could get two alkyl radicals colliding together. So if we have two alkyl radicals colliding together, we actually double the carbon chain length. So we would end up with an, alk uh, an alkane with twice the number of carbons. So 
So in summary, initiation is the formation of free radicals. So a molecule forms free radicals. We have there a molecule forming two free radicals. In the second step, propagation, we have a molecule colliding with a free radical to produce another free radical and a molecule. We have two steps in propagation where this free radical then collides with another molecule to produce a molecule and a free radical. In the termination step, there are three stages where the chlorine free radical forms a molecule, chlorine free radical and an alkyl free radical forms a molecule, or two alkyl free radicals form a molecule. <laughs>